Hey all, we're out here flying the extra 300 today. This is an RC Powers PDF plane. This one's free. Just go to rcpowers.com, download it, and put it together. We're going to do the same thing we did with the X-31. We're going to take it up for some flights, see how it lands, see how it glides. Here we go. Well, it certainly is going up. <laughs> Reduce my elevator trim some. Alright, let's cut the throttle and... Wow, it flies nice. Well, that is... Look, it still wants to climb. <laughs> well, I got a little far away from us. Let's bring it on back. Alright, that's a really low throttle setting. That's fairly gentle. All right, one thing I noticed from that first flight is that uh, it, uh, it's got a lot of control authority. So I've kicked on the dual rates that I've got here, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it flies with the dual rates on. So it's only 50% of the control throws now. Wow, that is so gentle. That's full back elevator trim, and clearly I don't need that much. You did a loop-de-loop -loop off of elevator trim? That was just the elevator trim, yeah. All right, let's see how it lands here. That's my buddy Joe's phone. All right, we'll bring it in nice and gentle. Wow! Talk about an easy landing. Well, those are landing a lot gentler than the uh, X-31. This is the same setup that we had on the X-31, and in fact, this plane weighs a couple ounces more. So uh, let's take it up high and see how it glides. <laughs> just wants to take off. That plane just wants to fly into the air. All right, that's plenty high. <laughs> All right, this is zero throttle, full back elevator trim. I'll just turn it back so it's coming towards us. And this is just, uh, just its glide. Look at it glide. Wow, that is no power. This is an 18 ounce model, flying without any throttle at all. Wow. <laughs> All right, I mean that that was a that was a fantastic glide ratio for a uh, a, a foamy, certainly compared to the X31. That uh, yeah, it was great. Let's take it up. We'll see you do it again. Here we go. All right, that's with the elevator trim set at neutral. That's a uh, maybe 60% throttle. All right, let's slow it down. I'm gonna give it a little bit of back elevator trim. Wow. I've got the dual rates turned off now, and it, it's got a lot of control authority. All right, so I'm down to fence uh, throttle here. Wow. It flies really slow. All right, you know, it's landing so well, I don't, I don't see any reason to do any more landing tests. Let's, uh, let's take it up and see how it stalls and uh, maybe shake the spins out of it. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Just up into the air it goes. Oh, I got too much back elevator trim. Just let it climb. Wow, that is 60% uh, throttle maybe. I don't know what the rate of climb is on that, but it's it's a lot. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try a power off stall. Fairly typical stall. It completely stalled there. Break the stall, and it flies well. Wow, it snaps right out of that stall. As soon as you release the elevator, that nose pitched right over and the stall broke immediately. All right, let's try a power on stall. I find power on stalls are a little harder to do with these foamies because they weigh so little. Oh, it gets a little goofy there. Oh, 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 oh. So that's a power on stall. That's fully stalled there. Wow, very, very gentle stall characteristic. Let's, uh, let's climb it up here and uh, shake the spins out of it. All right, so we'll stall it and give it rudder. There's its spin. That's fully stalled in the spin. Break the stall, fly the airplane. Wow. Very docile spin. We'll go up and we'll try and spin uh, a, uh, a power on spin here. 
Wow, just the slightest amount. Of, I could have to turn the dual rates back on. Just the slightest amount of trim makes this plane go just all over the place. All right, that's just too much throttle. It's not going to stall there. It just wants to keep its nose in the air and climb. So there's with power. Whoops. All right, so there it is. There's a, a spin. That's 50% throttle. That's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good spin rate. Break the stall. Fly the airplane. All right. Go back up there and do one more power off. Spin. One more power off stall. All right. Spin. Power off spin. Right. All right. So we stall it. We spin it. There that's it is. fully stalled. Full left rudder. Break the stall. Whoa. Got a little bit. Uh, <laughs> got a little bit too low there. <laughs> All right, Joe, you want to see any more spins? What do you want to see, man? Spins, loops, barrel rolls. What do you want to see first? How about a snap roll? Can it do a snap roll? I don't even know how to do one of those. Uh, what is a snap roll? All right, well, let's take it up. We'll, we'll hit a spin, and then uh, we'll see if we can do some low altitude aerobatics. Cool. Start my timer. Away we go. That thing just takes off so easy. That plane weighs over a pound. That's an 18-ounce plane. Man, look, it just wants to go up in the air. Straight <laughs> up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just wants to climb. I actually have to give it nose down pitch to keep it from uh, running away. And I actually have uh, nose down in that, nose down thrust in there. All right. Wow. <laughs> Change the trim from. Uh... Is it a spin? Those are beautiful spins. We'll break the stall, fly it off. I'm going to turn the dual rates back on. Wow, that is docile. I got something goofy going on. I'm going to check it out. All right, this is a little bit for you beginners out there. I want to talk about this plane. I think this is a great second plane. Uh, still, I recommend getting a, a Hawk Sky or a Wild Hawk and flying the snot out of those. Just fly them, fly them, fly them, crash them, crash them, crash them. Really get used to how a plane handles in the air and what your control inputs are doing to that plane. Then this is a good second plane. If you have a radio that allows dual rates, by all means, set it up and get the dual rates on there because this has so much control authority. The first time you fly it into the air, it's just going to be moving all over the place and it's going to react in ways you don't expect. If you don't have a radio with uh, dual rates, say that you're reusing your, um, your Hawk Sky radio, simply set up your control horns so that you're using the innermost hole on the servos and the outermost hole on your control horns. Um, you really want to be getting al almost no control throw at all. That's probably, I don't know if you can even see that, but that would be a lot. That would be a lot of control throw for a beginner on this. You don't need much control throw to control this airplane. Uh, it's very stable in the air. Make sure you keep it nose heavy. This plane flies a lot better with a little bit nose heavy. Once you, once you get the center of gravity right on that balance point, uh, it, it, it flies okay, but it's not going to react as well for you. It's not going to be as stable and smooth flying straight and level through the air. So beginners, excellent second plane. If you've already flown the, uh, the Wild Hawk or the Hawk Sky and you're ready for your first PDF, I'd recommend this one. Uh, it's easy to put together and it's a good time to fly. We'll see you next time.